Hey guys, what's up? It's Terramare, and today I'm bringing you another video, and it's looking like I'm actually going to be playing Resident Evil. But no, not just normal, everyday Resident Evil. This is Resident Evil Seamless HD Edition. Now, you may be asking yourself, Terramara, what is Resident Evil Seamless HD Edition? Well, someone that doesn't really follow, like, the, uh, the fan channels and discords and things like that for Resident Evil may not know what this is. But no, this is not some official product from Capcom that you missed or a trailer or something on Reddit that you missed. This is... Uh, a fan-made project made by the Resident Evil Seamless HD team, which included, sorry and forgive me if I uh, butcher these names, Moradis, Kyle, Doz D, and Frank Wesker. It's basically like an AI upscale mod um, that uses like machine learning to uh, clean up some of the graphics with masks and whatnot. I don't really know how any of that really works too well, but it makes basically the pixelated old 1990 six graphics look like clear modern graphics now they did work with uh team x which was another mod making team who made the classic rebirth mod and they made and, and you know this team and also the seamless hd team also made multiple mods for and seamless hd mods for one two and three um along with team x making the classic rebirth mods for one two and three on pc so this isn't their first like rodeo with this. This is this is something that uh, they've done before, but this is they're just now getting to the first Resident Evil, at least for the Seamless HD team. Talking about the graphics for this game, um, I know that purists are probably not going to like this game too much because of its aesthetics of being kind of plastic looking, gaudy looking textures. However, I, I like to keep an open mind when it comes to this sort of thing. And, I, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. You know, I'm open to new experiences and new ways to experience one of my favorite games of all time. So I definitely wanted to give this a good shot. And, you know, on this channel, I'll probably be playing the other two Resident Evil games that have been seamless HD-ified. So, you know, look out for those in the future. But all links and websites and downloads will be in the description if you choose to play it for yourself. But, you know, just be aware that you will have to find your own copy of Resident Evil for PC. It's made by the company Media Kite, I think, um, that only came out in Japan or somewhere in Asia. I can't remember. Um, you'll have to find that online if you want to play it with these mods. Now, moving on really quick. If you've never played Resident Evil before, then you might not actually know how it plays. But in Resident Evil, you actually choose di two different characters um, to play through the story with. Um, there's Jill and there's Chris. Today we're going to be playing as Jill. I'll have a video later with Chris. Um, Jill's a little bit easier, as you can see in this version of the game. It actually says it's easy, but um, they, they both have like similar storylines, but it differs in some ways. Items are like she she gets like the bazooka or the grenade gun, as it known is known in this version of the game. She gets different items to pick up. She's just known as an easier way to play the game. She also has more inventory space. But, uh, you know, if you're playing this for the first time, I really recommend playing as Jill. But other than that, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and just start up the playthrough of this game. So, you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy uh, Resident Evil. Thanks. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. 
However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! Dining room. All right, so we actually have control of our character now. So as you just saw, um, pretty cool. Uh, all the uh, intro movies are in color, which is like a thing that was in the original movie, uh, the PC version of this game. Anyway, they could it was in black and white on PS One and things like that because of uh, disc space and all that. But it's pretty cool to see uh, it in color. It's in really nice visuals. It's uncensored, too. This this is the uncensored version of the game. So, as you can see in the menus here, like, look, like most of the models are really high quality. You can actually see Jill's face over in the bottom left. It looks really, really good. So, I, I think I'm in the camp of people that actually really like this um, seamless HD mod. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. So it turns out Barry is a CSI detective and he knows how to examine blood. Um, he must have like a test kit or something too. Oh, and also that's another thing. In this game, we can actually skip door opening cutscenes, which I will be doing, so... Just keep that in mind. It's very nice to have. Alright, 
so we're this is Kenneth from the Bravo Stars team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. He definitely has. All right, well, we're going to try to grab these, but I might get bitten here by the zombie because I'm trying to get all the bullets. That's fine. There's like insane amounts of healing items in this game. Uh, you can come back later and get those, and you won't be there, but Barry? I'm lazy. What is Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. <laughs> the abrupt stop of music. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Nice. I love how they assume it's a creature and not just, you know, a person that's crazy and deranged, but... Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. The good old shuffle behind the staircase. Uh, I can show you right here, so... Oh, never mind. He's not gonna let me. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And, Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Barry's always there. He's always there. All right, now I can show you. Um, so you can save your progress with this. Normally you need an ink ribbon, but I can just kind of save anytime I want. But again, I'm gonna be doing this playthrough without saving, so. All right, so we got the map up there. Um, I don't need the map, because I've played this game uh, a bajillion times, but I will pick it up for uh, video purposes. Alrighty. It's kind of weird because, you know, this version of the game does have quick turn, but you can't quick turn on these, um, piece, these, like, platforms and stuff. Um, there's actually nothing in here because, again, there's no ink ribbons for Jill. So, there's just a zombie in the floor. And there's supposed to be an ink ribbon on the bookshelf right behind him, but since there is no ink ribbons for Jill, um, there's nothing there. And as you can see, like, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to be pointing this out just at the beginning here, but uh, these pictures are all been restored. You can actually kind of see what they actually used to be instead of just, like, pixelated, blurry messes. I mean, you could kind of see what they were before, but, I mean, they were still pretty bad. And I just shot the screen again, again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is, that is hilarious. Um, yeah, so just a tip with the dogs. If you've never played Resident Evil, I kind of want this to be an all-encompassing thing. Uh, shoot them, wait for them to get up, go into that state, and then shoot them again. Because you, you can stun lock the dogs pretty easily doing that. And it's going to help a lot because dogs can really just immediately eat through your health. And there is some bullets right there. That dog always takes like three bullets um, from what I've seen. Weirdly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use this since we did take a bite earlier. We're going to have plenty of healing items. Don't worry about it. 
couple doors there, and neither one of those are in particularly interesting right now. But we're going to go in here. Nice little room. And, you know, I always have issues with playing this game and then playing Remake. Because I've also played Remake a ton. And there are just so many different things that are just different in Remake. And, like, I find myself doing. Alright, so we've set off, like, a Indiana Jones-style trap or something. So now we're just got to wait and see what happens. Because both of these doors are locked. If you've played this game before, you know exactly what's about to happen. But... Sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we actually just got saved by Barry here. He was our rescue. And we ended up getting a shotgun out of it. So the shotgun is like one of the best weapons in the game. Um, not much else to say. We're going to be using the Beretta um, for the most part for this beginning area. Is he dead? I mean, I can't really tell. I, I guess he just went down on like three bullets. Now, the way you can tell is, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, the way you can tell is if they have a pool of blood under them, but it's kind of hard to tell on this flooring because the flooring is like red, so, but, oh well. Alright, so now we're going to be doing our, our first, um, puzzle. So, basically the gist of this puzzle is that we need to uh, activate these picture frames in the order of the youngest uh, life cycle of a human. So, you know, newborn, infant, young boy, or lively boy, um, young man, middle-aged man, old man. So... There's the middle-aged man right there. Be careful, don't smash A through it or you'll hit yes. Um, newborn baby. So we definitely want that one. Don't shoot the crows either because they will just come after you. I'm sure you would probably know that. This young man. I think, uh, I think this, is the, uh, this is the infant. Lively boy I think is right here. Lovely boy, young man, kind of just skips the teenage years, I guess, unless that's counting it. All living things are destined to die, so that's basically the gist of it. Very simple puzzle. All the puzzles in Resident Evil are very, very simple. Um... Also, the, as another thing, um, Morning for the Dead, there's a switch below. Will you push it? So this is the funeral. The issue I do have with this um, game in particular, I don't know, and I haven't played the original PS1 version of this game in forever, but I couldn't remember if the, the music balancing with the voices was as bad as it is in this game because I'm going to be honest like in that Barry cutscene I could barely even hear what what he was saying to me 
Like, it was just... Like, I just could not hear him. So, if I did have one gripe, it would definitely be the music balancing being pretty bad. But again, I, I don't know if that's an issue with this version of the game, or if that's just a Resident Evil issue. Like I said, I haven't played this, uh, this game on PS1 in forever, so I really couldn't tell you. But that is one big gripe I kind of have, is that... I can barely hear the voices from the cast almost over the music. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go in here. This zombie is in my face. He's still alive, don't worry. He's getting back up. Right, he's dead. I really love this game though. Um, really, really great game. So it was really nice being able to play it again and really nice graphics, being able to skip door sequences, you know, the works. All right, so we're actually gonna put away the knife. We're gonna put away the herb. We're gonna put away, um, we're gonna keep the shotgun. What I'm gonna do real quick, and we're gonna take the hang of bullets. Actually, you know what? No, we're 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 gonna we're gonna store the shotgun for now. Um, we're gonna use the rest of this Beretta hand handgun ammo, and then I'm just gonna dump this gun because you don't really need it at this point. You really, honestly, could get away with dumping it right now, but I really love conserving ammo. It's just part of my nature of playing a Resident Evil game. Go ahead and take this guy down. And he's dead. I really love the uh, character models, though. You'll really see it later with Richard. Is he already coming? Yes, he is. Okay, good. Could hear him. You can see their limbs flying off and everything. And, you know, <clears throat> for the longest time, you know, I, 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 I really loved Resident Evil and everything, but I actually never really played... Um, the game uh i never had watched the romero movies and after seeing the romero movies it really like makes me look at this game differently there's so much inspiration there i mean any zombie movie or game after the romero movies are really inspired by it but um somebody wrote this with blood i can't breathe save me from this pain i don't remember if that's in the original game i think that's something new i really don't remember that So we're going to go ahead and take care of these zombies here. Should be another one down here. Love the music. Love the game. Alright, so... I kind of want to go dump the Beretta now. But eh, we're, we'll keep it a little bit longer. We'll keep it a, a tiny smidge longer. I just don't feel like going back and getting the shotgun. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Just a moment. I oh, dude, I love that. I love that line, dude. It's so bad. So bad. Oh, 
hope this blood isn't from my teammates. I mean, I don't really know who it would be from, but... But yeah, he's like, here's a weapon, and he gives me ammo. Like, what am I supposed to do with this, Barry? I don't have the weapon to shoot it. All right, well, we have the grenade gun. That's Forrest over there. We're uh, not going to mess with him. He's from Bravo Team. This Bravo Team got messed up coming to this mansion. That would be Rebecca's team if you've played Resident Evil Zero, which I assume if you played Zero, you probably played this game. But Rebecca's team is Bravo Team. Get back up. We're not done. He's probably dead now. All right, so we're gonna push the statue, um, and we're gonna push it off the edge, because, uh, well, actually, okay, well. I didn't want to kill this guy, but he gave me no choice. I didn't push the statue in the correct pixel, so I couldn't push it off. All right, well, he can live, because we don't really need to kill him. This is after, this is where we're gonna dump the Beretta. He was gonna munch on my toes. He was definitely gonna munch on my toes right there. That's actually a pretty good, um, pretty good tactic if you wanted to use that is if they attack you while they're on the ground, you can save some ammo by just running over them and getting a decap where they just kick their head off or whatever. Oh, shot his arm off. No, never mind. His arm's still intact. I can't see if he's down and out yet, but we're going to know in about three seconds. Because there's another zombie in that corner. You going to get back up? Ah, uh, nope. He's dead. So, if, if Jill does not aim at him, then, um, then he's dead. Like, Jill will aim, like, if you snap with L1, she will snap to a target if it can be killed. Isn't there another zombie down here? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him. And then we're gonna dump the Beretta. And he's dead. Alright, so now we're gonna just dump the Beretta. Because we don't need it anymore. Um, got three bullets for it. It's solved. It's uh, it's it's it's. I've used I've used it to where um, it's full capacity. It's it's done. We will be using the shotgun, and I think this is good. Um, we might have to come back. I, I need to. We're gonna need that grenade gun. Well, they call it the grenade gun in this game, but it's the bazooka in the original. I don't. I don't know if that's a media kite PC translation thing. I don't know. No idea, but um, it's called the grenade gun in this version of the game. That's locked. We'll be back for that. Just blowing heads off. Shotgun's amazing. Love, love, love the headshot sound. And that's a tip. I mean, if you're using the shotgun, always, like come up to them, aim up, and then shoot them in the head and they'll die. You can actually read that warning tag to guard against injury, something, something. In the original, you would not have been able to read that whatsoever. Which I, you know, like I said, it has a plastic texture to everything, but I mean, it still looks really good, man. People hate on seamless HD for its AI like plasticky plasticky look and you know there's always going to be the crowd that likes the nostalgic look of the original and that's fine I like it too you know what I mean I would not ever not ever play the original like this isn't like a replacement or anything it's just like a different way to experience the game really um, 
And you know, if you never played a Resident Evil game in your life, you can actually combine these herbs and uh, it will give you a full heal, whereas these green ones will only like heal you for like 15 or 20 percent. Double greens are like 40 percent, and then triple greens are like a full heal. I'm gonna go ahead and combine these though, because I need more space. And we got the mansion key. So it actually doesn't tell you what the mansion what mansion key it is. I mean, I know it's the armor key, but you can actually check it and twist it, and it'll tell you it's the armor key now. So that's a tip. If you're playing this game, make sure you're checking items. And we're gonna kill that guy. Um, don't. We're not gonna go there yet. Uh, some Beretta ammo right there, but I'm not going to pick it up. And we're going to go ahead and kill that guy. The, the music just instantly stops. That is cool beans. Alright. So we got the Keeper's Diary. If you've ever played Resident Evil, you've definitely read this. You've probably heard of this thing, even if you've not um, played Resident Evil. I'm going to be honest. I think that I read in the news somewhere that someone was actually making a movie um, based off of this Keeper's Diary entry. So that would be interesting. It's probably going to be bad, but I guess I should be optimistic. Um, you can actually kind of read the front of the diary right there. It says Diary Patton Smith. I don't know. I don't know what that says. Uh, May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, Ali Alias and Steve the researcher. Elias. I think that means Elias. Okay, whatever. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Nice. All right. So this is the next day. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Oh, yeah, that's always nice. Um, I'm trying to think. Like a gorilla without any skin. So that would be the um, hunters, I think. Around 5 o'clock, this is the 11th, so this is the next day. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder what those researchers never rest, even at night. So next day, I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Next day, I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I can sleep well tonight. That dude. This guy is just like not very smart. I mean, this is a, this is the keeper though. This isn't a researcher. He's just literally supposed to be just keeping the dogs. Um, next day, when I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher ups found out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one can leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? Oh yeah, so uh, I'd be very worried at this point. Wearing space suits, not being able to make phone calls, leave the place. Uh, next day, I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You're, you're decomposing. Uh, fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Yeah, so three days afterwards, man. He's, he's pretty much gone. And then itchy, tasty. Just four. I'm guessing that might be... I don't even know, man. That's just four. Yeah, so it's pretty cool to see the uh, transformation. Probably the best file in the game, if not in the series. 
Great job on that, Capcom. All right, so we've completely circled around here. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this puzzle now. So I'm over here, use the lock pick. And uh, Jill is gonna show off her piano skills. So we get the sheet music here. I'll be dumping all those herbs in a minute, but. Traditional Resident Evil fashion, we've got to play the piano to open a door. It's Moonlight Sonata. So the door is open. I really, really, really wonder how the engineers that built this mansion pulled that off. Not gonna lie to you, man. <clears throat> Cause we've got doors that open from music. We've got pictures that fall off the wall from pressing buttons. I don't know how they do it, man, but uh, it's, it's it's an engineering marvel for sure especially in the 90s all right so right there we actually replaced the emblem we got in this main hall right here over there on the wall with uh this the one in the hall with this golden one and now this golden one goes here and the uh the clock moves I remember I was playing this as like a test run of this game up until this point and um, oh yeah we can also get this blue diamond I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and I'm immediately gonna go back and use it uh, I don't know what I'm doing actually do I need to use it uh, uh, Yes, yes, technically I don't. I mean, really, I'm gonna have to go back there and do this anyway, but the door opening sequences really make this less of a slog, so I'll do it. So we got a, I'll examine it. It reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. So we really have to just put in this blue diamond into the tiger eye. And we get another medal. Now for the red eye, because you did say it's, it, it did say red eye right there. Um, we are going to have to do that when we return to the mansion. So we will be leaving the mansion and we will be returning to the mansion. And when we do that, we will be putting the red eye in there. All right, so. I didn't really mention it, but at the very beginning when I grabbed those two handgun clips, uh, yeah, that's very hidden. You wouldn't really know that that's there unless you just kept examining his body. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the armor key here. And we're going to grab this stuff. There's some, a clip right there. I'm always scared that I'm going to miss that. And we're going to grab the shotgun shells. Now, in this room at the very end of the corridor, there is the closet key room. Uh, you can actually switch into a cl uh, to a new costume. <clears throat> Depending on if you've beaten the game and all that sort of criteria. Um, I'm not going to bother with it because... I didn't do that and also I think the only other thing in that room is some herbs and I literally can't pick anything else up so we'll be fine but for now we're gonna actually go and see Richard uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this door I don't remember oh yeah well, well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know what no, no 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 we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do this So I have I have a full inventory. Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house 
It's dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Ouch. Yeah, I don't know. Richard Richard's Richard's model really kind of shows what the mod did. Um and his torso looks way more legible, but it kind of looks like the torso of a Lego figure, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Kind of looks like it was like a sticker put on his body. Pretty cool. But right now we're actually going to get serum for Richard because he's dying. And the great thing about the first Resident Evil game is that um, he dies no matter what you do. But if you do get the serum to him in time, he gives you the radio. So, I mean, there's that, I guess. Um, I'm just going to put all this up. Grab this. Real quick. I know I need to get back to him as soon as possible, but he can wait. And there's a Beretta ammo and the broken shotgun behind me there. But we don't need the broken shotgun with Jill because um, Barry will ba bail us out. Uh, with Chris, you're going to see me actually grab that item. So I kind of wanted to just go ahead and do that there because I don't really want to go back to that area of the mansion. There's no real reason to, so... Taking care of it now means I don't have to do it later. Hopefully Richard doesn't die because of it, but I mean, I think you get a decent amount of time. Also, if you couldn't tell already, um, if you've played the original Resident Evil, you will probably have noticed this, but it's using um, camera angles from Director's Cut, so. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill. Here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. So funny, dude. I mean... Ah, oh, dude, it's just so funny. Alright, so... Oh, this is probably going to be an issue. I wanted to dump this key, but I forgot about this guy down there. Ah, oh, dude, can I not shoot him here? Yo. Oh, no, man. No! Eat it. Eat it. Man, my voice is just so crackly today. I don't know. Alright, so we got a very uh, thought-provoking puzzle in here. Which involves us putting these statues over these vents. To um, block the gas that's going to go off when we press this button. Yeah, I know people gush about the remake all day, and I will too, but uh, the remake really had better puzzles than this. I mean, this is just so basic. A lot of the puzzles in this game really just amount to pushing some objects and seeing what happens. A lot of pushing objects around, you know. 
So we can actually go in here. Um, there's really nothing in here except for this botany book. And I'm not going to read it, but you can read it if you want. Uh, it basically just tells you about the different herbs in Resident Evil. So, I mean, I've kind of already explained it. Green, green, about a mid heel. Green, small heel. Um, green, red, full heel. Alright, so we got a file here. I'll go ahead and read this. Researchers will. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget about more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. So that was supposed to be a letter given to probably whoever he was married and or girlfriend or something. But obviously that did not come to fruition because it's still sitting here. But right here we actually have to lower out the, the water in this tank so that Jill can push it. Because that's, I guess it's really heavy. And then we move this big bookcase that looks like it weighs more than the water tank. And uh, and we grab the explosive rounds. That's pretty much it. That's all that's in there. On the shelf here, we're going to grab the lighter, which has a few uses in the game. One of them being pretty, pretty useless for me, and the other being pretty useful. And we'll grab this red herb. I just realized that I did not grab the bazooka. I'm going to have to go. Oh, well, we're, we're right next to the save area, so that's fine, I guess. All right, so one of the uses of the lighter is actually right here. Oh, come on. There we go. There you go, dude. You can actually see it. it says 1962. This mansion was built in 1962. Just really interesting. Unless that's been retconned by Capcom at this point, and it would not surprise me. Okay, so armor key, armor key. Am I missing a door that the armor key opens? Because I have not gotten rid of it yet. I don't remember. Must not have been an important door. All right, so put that away. We don't really need that. We'll put the shotgun away. I'll keep the lighter. Um, you know what? I'll keep a safety heal cuz why not? Actually, yeah, no, we'll, we'll take him. All right, we're good. Um, I forgot something. My bad. My bad. It'll give me slightly more time to think about where this this key is supposed to be used. I I forgot where it's supposed to be used. I, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put these crests in. That way, when we're done with this boss fight, we don't have to we don't have to uh, carry three crests out here on a full inventory. So. What what door am I missing? I don't know. Oh no, I know. I know, I know, I know. It's actually over here. It's weird cuz in the remake I always forget this door is open with a lock pick, but in this game it's open with armor key. There we go. Um, I'm not going to go out there, though. And the reason being is there's a bunch of dogs that will jump out at you. And all that you get in return is a bunch of herbs. So, I don't really need that. If we need them when we come back to the mansion, then I'll grab it. But 
I really don't need it right now. So I'm just going to leave them. All right. So now we can go back to the Richard room here. And uh, I'm going to leave those herbs there, actually. I'm going to kill that guy. He get blown up. And uh, hopefully I still have the lighter. I'm pretty sure I left it on me. I didn't. I did. Okay, good. So you can light up the room, and you can grab this ammo if you want it. Um, I'm not going to grab it because it's a waste. And we can move this. And there's a secret room back here. And we can grab... Dun -dun -dun, acid rounds. It's pretty good. We definitely are going to need those. Alright, so next. We're going to go up here and we are going to fight... The snake boss. I forgot he has a name, but I actually just forgot it off the head. It's going to hit you. Obviously, you can get through the boss fight without getting hit, but um, probably not going to be easy to do. And he's dead. So it takes like, I think, two acid shells. It takes two acid shells and uh, like six or five grenade rounds I've found to kill him. The grenade rounds are actually really awful against him, but you can't unload the grenade rounds and put acid rounds in. So just keep that in mind. And we are poisoned. But, as you'll see in a minute. I really like this, though. Like, you can actually see all the little items on the, on the shelf. It looks funny. Our main man, Barry, comes back to save the day. I really love this music in this room during this sequence, too. It's really nice. So I really recommend do not heal after that fight. Because if you're playing as Jill, you get free heal from Barry. You'll see in a minute. So, going here, I'm actually in green fine now, which is why I said not to heal. Alright, so we're going to leave that in our inventory. We are going to put away the grenade gun. We're not going to need that, um, at least for a little while. Put that away. We don't need the lighter anymore. We will need the shotgun. Where is it? There we go. All right, so we are good to go now. And that's pretty much all we can do in the mansion right now. Um, we're going to have to come back later. But, yeah. So he, he puts you in this room, and it's kind of annoying because you have to walk all the way back across the mansion to get to where you need to go. But... Not a big deal. I mean, he really put us on the other side of the mansion. But, I mean, eh, that's where the serum is, so... Obviously, that makes sense why he put us in there, but... Kind of annoying. Yeah, man, I'm gonna be honest, dude. The shotgun is just super OP in this game. And really, any Resident Evil game... Well, most of them, at least. Um, <clears throat> I know in some of the later ones, it just is not a one-tap decap with a shotgun. 
like an oh man, Resident Evil Zero. Oh god, it is random when you do it in that game. It is it is insufferable. That game really has some issues, to be honest. I'll probably play through all the Resident Evil games at some point or another. Um, I'll probably play through all the classic ones first and work my way through them. I mean, if you look at the chronological timeline, Zero does take place before this game, but it takes it was made way after it, like five years after this game came out. So, <clears throat> so we're gonna go out here. Um, should I grab those healing items? Or, nah, we don't need it. I say that. Watch me be dying for healing items later. I'm just going to run past those dogs. We don't really need to mess with them. And right here, we're going to use the crank and lower this water. Just, I'm going to be honest, that kind of just looks like a blurry mess. Um, it does look better, though, than the original movie. I will tell you, the original movie looks ten times worse than that. Uh, it's very, very pixelated and blurry. I, I don't really know, though, because this is the PC version of the game. Most of the movies do just look better by default due to the increased amount of dis disc space that you could have. Whereas on, like, the PlayStation, you kind of had to work with whatever was on the disc. You know, you, you had the disc, right? And obviously, unless you want to make it a two-disc game, you're going to have to fit all this stuff onto one disc, so... You yeah, had to keep that in mind. So there's a dog right there, dog right there. We're going to run past them. There's going to be a dog right here, dog right here. And we're just going to run away from them. If they catch you, just keep running. Because I'm going to be honest, it's not really worth it. So, um, we got blue orbs here, here if I get poisoned. And we have a first aid, or a safe room, save room in here. First aid spray in here is what I meant to say. And we got some explosive rounds. I'm gonna be honest, the explosive rounds are kind of, they're okay. I'm gonna probably be using them against the, uh, the hunters. Oh man, the hunters are very, very scary. I'll probably be using all my healing items on those. That's why I kind of left uh, those healing items there. So I'm probably going to be using them on the hunters. So we're going to unplug this water. Oh man, dude, you can see that toilet paper over there, man. It's like definitely been submerged in some water. It's it's very crinkly looking. Been dropped in the toilet a couple times. And we get the control room key. Got a zombie here. And he's dead. Should be another zombie in this room, I think. Use the lockpicks on these desks because you will get um, shotgun shells. So keep that in mind. And there he is. And we're going to go ahead and grab the red book because we're going to need this. It is a puzzle item. And I don't believe there's anything else in here. Um, so we can actually go in there. Um, mm, I want to show you what's in there, but we're going to see them again later. So I'm going to just ignore it for now. And yeah, there's like a puzzle where you need to push that statue over those holes. I, I don't do it because I'm just lazy. But yeah, if you don't want that to grab you, you just push the statue on the hole and they can't get you. Um, yeah, so we need to go this way. And go this way. Grab the key. And we're running away from the killer bees. I mean, there's just tons of killer things that shouldn't have been killer in the first place in this place. And this is going to be a useless key after that. Oh my god. Alright. Um, 
Yeah, no, don't go in there. All that's in there, I think, is a clip and a zombie, so don't even bother with that. Again, I get this place so mixed up with Remake. It's a lot more fleshed out in the remake. Alright, so we got that. We got a dormitory sketch map. And we got a Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at Point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its roots that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs like so many hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of the, those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Oh man, I can't read. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood, using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by tw twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Starton. This was after, uh, this, was, this took place after the uh, transformation of the Keeper. It's interesting. So, what we need to do is we need to push that and push this. All right, and we can go down here. Alright, now we got box puzzles. You ready for box puzzles? These are fun. Uh, I was very much lying when I said this was fun. I really hate this puzzle. Mainly because it's super basic and not hard to figure out, except for the third one. And it's just... Ugh. Ah, oh, man. Not a fan of this puzzle at all. And don't worry, man, it's in the remake, so. If you thought you were ever gonna escape this puzzle, you are not. Am I still not walking? There we go, okay. Yeah, I've actually pushed this thing the whole way there and figured out that I could not squeeze into that crack, and I have never made that mistake ever again. Because as you can see, this takes an absurd amount of time. I don't know what's in these crates, but it must be pretty heavy. I mean, they are pretty big, I guess. And like anything in this game, if you mess up this puzzle, then you can just leave the room, come back in, and it'll be fixed. The Resident Evil Messiah is uh, out there. Um, should I? Don't come down here unless you have this key, by the way. I was thinking about grabbing those herbs, but uh, I think there's some stuff down here. So. That's the Plant 42 room. I don't want to go in there. Oh no, we got the uh... We got the shark! He's here! And he can kill you pretty fast. Oh my goodness. So make sure you get in this room. The eye-wateringly bright red is in here. And we're going to move this lever and get rid of this water. Yeah, um, not a good look if you come down here without that key. And you're probably going to do that because the key is kind of hidden. I mean, you have to press A on the, uh, nothing special. Press A on the, that tub to be able to drain it. So, I mean, and you probably heard my chair right there. This chair is like 30 years old. Um... <laughs> 
Yeah, so there's a good chance that this, this shark will probably kill you the first time. All right, so we got two Beretta... Sh uh, well, they call them handgun bullets in this game, which is actually correct, but in the original game, it's called a clip. Which is not a clip, it's a magazine, but... Interesting. A lot of name changes in some of these things. But yeah, I mean, look at the amount of shotgun shells we have, dude. You probably don't even need to use the Beretta for, like, more than, like, 5% of the game with how brokenly, like, much shotgun shells you get. Alright, so we got the key and we got some shotgun shells. And we hear some flopping. You know, I'll show this off, but all that's in here is Plant 42's vines. Now, I haven't really explained this, but the boss fight of this area is actually Plant 42. Um, we're going to have to fight him. Now, so with Jill, you don't actually have to make V-Jolt, which we'll learn about this later. Uh, V-Jolt is like a chemical that weakens it, but in Jill's playthrough, you can get away with not making v -Jolt because it's easy mode, and they just knew that you would probably skip that, and Barry bails you out like he did with the shotgun, like he does with the poison. In Chris's playthrough, all these things are not going to be bailed out for you. You will have to do them, and or you will be killed. So like the broken shotgun, for, right? Rebecca, which is the person that you're with in Chris's campaign... Um, she will not bail you out of the shotgun situation. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, you will die if, uh, if you get in that situation. Plant 42, if you, uh, don't make V-Jolt, uh, I think Rebecca has to make it. So you do have to make it, regardless, if you want to or not. Um, where am I going? This goes to that door, so I should probably have some bazooka ammo. So we're about to already fight it. Like I said, the dormitory is really, really short. I feel like we, we get flame rounds from somewhere, but maybe it's a little bit later. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Well, I mean, I want to say just in case I'll bring some some grenade rounds, but man, dude, I cannot remember if it's in there or not. Um. Screw it. I'll just bring it. Hopefully I uh, don't absolutely flub this up. It's not in that room with the spiders. Yeah, there's big freaking spiders in that room. That door's locked. Interesting. I think it's actually in this room. Now that I think about it, this is where the flame rounds are going to be. And here. And he's dead. Yeah, acid rounds are pretty good. Alright, so. Um, can't do anything with this, right? Yeah. Where is the key to that door? Is that just not a thing you can get? I may have missed it. Um, but we don't need to go in there anyway, so it doesn't matter. It might be in here, actually. It might have to use this book, I think. Er. Is that it? No, it's just blank. So it lets you know it's a blank book. You actually put it right here. And I think in the V-Jolt report, which... As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. 
It also has found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment, we named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put V-Jolt directly on its roots. So, yeah, that's interesting. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be handled when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. So we have number two, number three, number four, number seven, number 13, stimulating smell, uh, and then 16, so it'd be brown. So this is basically how you would mix the chemicals together to get V-Jolt. And we use that here, and this opens up this door. Uh, like I said, I don't know where the key is to that door. I, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but wait. Oh, it was over here. Um, but we don't really need it, so I guess it's fine. So just shoot those two acid rounds off and then use flame rounds on plant 42. And yeah, you'll go down. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway? Good old Barry with his great dialogue. Uh, make sure you come over here and grab this key, because if you don't, you're going to have to come all the way back over here. Let's talk to him again. Okay. I'm going to stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. Man, dude, Barry really just says, screw V-Jolt. I'll do what I want. Um, but yeah, I like to call that, that room the Waffle Room because it just literally looks like Waffle Grid. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I've locked been up. looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. But these are native English speakers, right? So why do they why do they talk like every every sentence has a full stop? Or every Every word has a full stop. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. All right, so um, I'm debating here. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a blue herb because we can get poisoned by... Yeah, I'm going to take a blue herb because of the fact that we can get poisoned. 
by a boss fight we're going to have to fight. So, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to... Um, hmm. Interesting. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so this is the fun part of the game. You ready for it? You know, that key might actually be in that red room, to be honest with you. I never checked that room. I guess we'll find out in Chris's playthrough, because I'm going to need it there. Oh, yeah, you have to use the radio here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these herbs too. So I might need them. We do have one blue herb, which should be good enough. I'll run past these dogs here. Little feisty little mutts, man. Yeah, those things can poison you, so uh, do not stick around them, that's for sure. They're called adders? I don't know. I mean, I really should have brought the... Oh, man. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to do that. Probably going to get hit here. Oh, juke. Well, if we need healing items, they're out there, so... This is the fun part of the game. I'm ready for it. Yeah. So that's a hunter. Um, make sure you shoot him very fast because, uh, man, they are ruthless. They can kill you. I've died. I've only ever really died in this game to these creatures. They are insane. Um, so keep that in mind when you're fighting them. Wait, do I? Yes, switch. Nice. I don't need the lighter. I couldn't remember. Yeah, we're definitely picking that up. Oh, yes, sir. We're definitely picking that up. Um... I'm going to combine these, actually, because I think I have... There's another item. Yeah, we de we definitely need this. <clears throat> definitely need that. Um, I have gone all the way to the area of the game where you needed that and did not have it because I forgot about it, so... Oh, there's no hunter in here? I could have sworn there was a hunter in there. Maybe I'm thinking of remake. I don't know. I'm almost positive there used to, there is a hunter in there, but oh well. We'll throw that in there. We'll throw the uh, magnum ammo in there. We'll throw that in there. Yeah, yeah. We'll throw that in there. Um, I want to keep a healing item on me at all times at this point in the game because uh, hunters are ridiculously overpowered. Um. I think I'm gonna actually keep some explosive rounds as well to kill them with. And uh, yeah, no, we get some more acid rounds here. So actually, I probably don't even need the explosive rounds. We're probably just gonna use the acid rounds. Probably don't even need these shotgun shells to be honest with you. There's a few areas with zombies still in the mansion, but we're probably just going to use the bazooka to take care of it. I call it the bazooka. It's the bazooka, whatever. Um, <clears throat> doesn't tell you what kind of mixed herb it is. I think that that's the one we picked up that has the blue, right? Three green herbs. Man, yeah, this is where things get really annoying. 
Did I not pick up a blue herb? Oh, no, I picked one up. I just didn't mix it. Okay. Do I have a, like, green-green combination or something? Oh, here we go. We got this. Where is the blue herb? Because, like, right here you can get poisoned. I probably will get poisoned, so... Um, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I swear I thought there was a hunter up there. I know there's one up here. Yeah, he's dead. Flame rounds are pretty, pretty strong against them. So are acid rounds. Um, but grenade rounds are like the weakest. Now, I recommend only going to the areas you need to go to in the mansion, because any areas where you've been before and, you know, you don't need to go back to, there will be hunters in there, and you're going to get, like, severely punished for it, so. And he's dead. Takes like five acid rounds, maybe more. Um, so, yeah, he's dead. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, now Joe. I've done it. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? All right, you want to listen to Barry here because if we go forward, um, so there's a bunch of choices in the game, and I'll kind of explain how they work after this cutscene because he's going to come back, but just trust me for now. Just wait right here. You want to get the good ending in this game at least. Whoa, man, what happened to the snake body? That looks hey! weird. Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill. I found something. Alright, so this is a passcode to that door. Uh, we're not really going to need this, but that's nice at least. Thank you. I'll take this then. I actually didn't show off the door that used that pass number. Um, but we're about to go down here and we'll unlock it from the other, other side. So you'll never really need that pass number anyway. So, what I was saying before with the choices, so, you know, with him getting the shotgun and bailing you out, the Plant 42 boss, this, there's, like, a lot of choices in the game where Barry can help you, and if you don't do them, then he dies at the end of the game. So, we don't want him to die, so that's why I do them all. Alright, so this is why we have the grenade rounds for these zombies pretty useless overall blown away we don't really need these shotgun shells man I'm picking this stuff up but I really don't need it they are feasting over there we're just gonna let them feast we don't really need to kill them there's an herb but it's completely useless all right, and I'm going to show a pretty cool cutscene real quick. So 
So I'm like really interested in this cutscene because it's like so late in the game at this point to be scared of a zombie with hunters being in the game. So it, it almost strikes me as a cutscene that they had planned out before um, before they realized where it was going to be, I guess. This motherfucker is alive. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty cool cutscene. I remember the first time I saw that and I played this game, I was like, Oh, is there a new creature already? We just got this other creature. No, 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 it's a zombie. Just a zombie. Alright, so... There's an herb on the ground. Um, really don't need it. Um, I'm not even going to kill you. You're just, like, not even in the way. Alright, so... What is over here? I couldn't remember. Yeah, it's locked. What, what is in here? Oh, yes. Magnum ammo. We are picking up every little bit of that we can. Oh, man. Oop. I don't want to kill him because I need this last bullet. I'm just going to kite him around real quick. But the AI in this game is very bad, so you can just get stuck on walls and stuff. Because I want to read this. This is a really cool, uh, this is a really cool memo. Scrapbook. Raccoon... Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. So this is the newspaper. Animal attack, woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animal's doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot, on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th. Monsters in Arclay Mountains. Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as a large dog and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them, so you're smart readers which should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for an adventure, check it out. You want to try? July 9th. Mystery on Arclay Mountains Mountain Road Blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, the Raccoon City Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of the STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. So it's pretty cool. A little bit of backstory. Um, we can go in here. There's a pretty cool little... Actually, we have to come in here. So to get the good ending, this is another area that you're going to want to check out. Um... Oops, all right, well, I messed it up, but. I'm gonna push this a little over first. And then push it down here. So yeah, just another push puzzle. Pretty boring, but you know. That'd be Resident Evil for you. I think it's in this corner that you have to push it. There's a hint, if you press that button over there, it'll show you the area where you need to push it. Very basic. But you absolutely need to come in here and get this. This is non-negotiable. You have to have that if you want the good ending of the game, period. So grab it now. It's absolutely the most annoying one to have to grab, so yeah, make sure you get it. We do have to get something in here. Um, man, I wonder. Hold on, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't think you can unload in unlimited rounds into this thing. No, you can't. So, 
You can't discard anything in this game either. That sucks. Alright, so now we have got the uh, battery. I didn't actually show off the elevator, but we're going to have to use that battery to open up that elevator. So, this is the door that, uh... Oh, no, this is not the door. My bad. It's coming, it's coming out, though. It's right here. Okay, never mind. Ooh, I made a mistake. He was feasting on this guy, man. He was still alive. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, that sucks. As you can see, Jill really can't take much hits. Uh, okay, well, um, yeah, that sucks. Does this elevator work? It does. Okay, cool. All right. well, obviously, because that's where I came out of. So yeah, you actually cannot open it from that side. I did not know that. But yeah, you can't. You have to go all the way around and you'd have to put in the pass key to go through that door. Really um, kind of stupid, but whatever. And this next area is pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Right here. But we got through it grenade launcher for the win it is absolutely busted All right. we're gonna go this way there should not be any hunters on the lower area of, the, of here like at all they will be on the high level though so remember that um where are we going we're going this way mm -hmm. we can go up here actually they won't be up here either And we'll go this way. Guess there's... Yeah, there's none up here. There's one chilling right there. But that's it. That's all the hunters. In the mansion, at least, that we're going to have to fight. So we're going to hit up the item box here. Um... I think we're not going to take the shotgun here either because the, the thing is is the reason being is because this next area we're about to go to pretty much has nothing but hunters down there like it's just hunters so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take a healing item take that I'll reload that in There's actually another room. Man, dude. There's one other room that I didn't go into. Uh, do I want to go in there? You know, I'll, I'll go in there just to show it off. Yeah, it's not. I, I actually, and here's the problem is I actually don't remember what's in there. <laughs> Actually, no, I do know what's in there, but, eh, eh, I don't want to fight the hunters, I don't like the hunters, great way to take care of them though is to, and they're going to be up here, so, there's going to be one right there, I don't think there's one on this side, oh, there is, just kill one of them. We don't need to kill both. As you know, they will be up here too. Alright, this is the door. And that is the last door. Alright, so in here... We've got to... Push this. Oh yeah, we definitely wanted to come in here because I forgot there's a magnum ammo in here. Um, I'm not gonna pick up the shotgun shells. We don't need them. Definitely want that magnum ammo though. Ooh, baby, we want that. 
And it looks like there is a memo. Top secret, July 22nd, 1998. To the head of the security department, X day is approaching, completing the following orders within the next week. One, lure the members of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. Two, collect two embryos per BOW type, making sure to include all species except for the tyrant. Three, destroy the Arclay lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. White umbrella. So we'll actually figure out who's in charge of that later in the game. I'll bring it up. And we have to hit a switch to be able to see this item. Actually, I don't even see it here, but it's up here. That's kind of bugged. Supposed to be a red glint right there, but I guess that's broken in this version of the game. I don't know. But. Yeah. This is the door that we would use the pass key on, by the way. Right there. Uh, I actually do know the pass number, but. Okay, I guess that's bugged. Uh, I do know the pass number, but it, it, uh, she doesn't want to put it in. Okay. Next, we have to go down here. I'm going to ignore that one in the corner. And surprise! Yeah. Alright, so we're going to use this here. I think this actually does give you the magnum. So, yes, sir, it does give you the magnum. Man, I would have missed this, dude. I would have been mad. Like I said, in the remake, it's completely... It, is it completely different? You don't get the magnum here. You get something else. So, it's 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 different. And that's why I didn't think it was important. But Oh, no. It is important. The magnum is uh, a beast weapon. I think there's really only one other area in the game where we can actually get poisoned at this point. And more than likely, we probably will get poisoned in that fight, so... Alright, so... Not much to really say here, we're just making our way out to the courtyard so that we can use the battery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dump this stuff. We are saving all our magnum ammo here. I will take the shotgun though, because that might still be useful. There is a, um, there's a, there, there's an item box down there, so I'm not really too worried. Thank God for the door skip, man. Thank God for it. I'm pretty sure in the OG game, whenever it's going through in-game in time, it... I'm pretty sure it skips, like, in terms of, like, your time. Yep. Yo, I'm mashing, mashing the button. I'm not really sure why that didn't go through, but whatever. Um, hmm. What am I thinking? I oh, okay, no, 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 I got it, I got it. I really should have just killed those stupid dogs, man, because they're really going to be annoying. I have to go through there so many times. Don't worry. They're going to be down here, too, and they're probably going to attack the absolute... I might just go and kill them, actually. I do have the shotgun here. So much easier to kill with a handgun because you can stun lock them. Oops. Oh man, the 
shotgun so awful against these things, dude. Alright, screw it. Ah, yes. One of the more broken uh, hitboxes in this game, man. Oh! I had a reload, man. That was horrifically bad. Yeah, probably one of the most broken hitboxes in Resident Evil is that battery um, one. I, it's so small, man. Every time I try to do it, I usually get just mauled to death trying to put it in. And since the shotgun's so bustedly bad against these things, I'm probably just going to walk past them. Uh, uh. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice, dude. I'm gonna have to shoot this one. This is such a... You're really not supposed to use the shotgun against dogs. But, well, we don't have really a choice. I don't have the bread on me, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grab some healing items over here. I'm gonna grab one healing item. Might as well grab a blue herb with it. Uh, you know, I think they give you blue herbs down in the area where you're probably going to get poisoned again. You know, there's like a finite number of blue herbs in the game, so... Alright. Should have just killed them way earlier in the game, but uh, whatever. I don't this lined up. Nope, never mind. Alright, so. We want to stop the waterfall, basically, so that we can go under it. Because Jill doesn't want to get wet. So. That's what we just did right there. Now we're going to take the elevator down, since we can't get through the water. And the map for the area is actually on the wall right there, but we don't need it. Why would you need a map for this game? It's like super, super straightforward. But whatever, it's there. And now we can actually go under this waterfall. There was a waterfall here. I don't think I actually showed it. And we're going to have this out because, man, this place is very dangerous. Um, it's, I think there's an item box right here. There's no item box right here. Is there even an item box in this in this area? Did I just completely flub that and forget that there was no item box down here? You know what? We're just gonna keep going. Um, oh, Jill, what good timing! A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay. Then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. How did you get down here? Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. All right, so we don't want him to go first, and we want him to come with us. Uh, that's another choice right there. I'm almost positive I uh, there's no item box down here. Barry took him down, man. He took him down, downtown. That was lame. All right, let's go, let's go. Voice crack. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Yeah. Wait there. Hey, wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Enrico! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, man. So, uh, Enrico just got assassinated by an unknown assailant. Actually, there's something over here. Uh, no. I'm getting it mixed up with Remake. Uh, no. It's out, out here in the hallway. Yep, there it is. So, we definitely need that. And real quick, uh, it's that, that crank right there is the one we're going to have to put back. Now, we can actually go through that area right there, but there's no reason to. Um, there was a hunter there. Um, 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 I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. No, this is the area that you don't really need to go in. Yeah, we're, we're not bothering with that. Oh, wow. Well. What in the world do they respawn? That's bad. Ooh, yeah, we're healing. Yep. That right there is why you uh don't want to mess with these things. That right there, man, they can stun lock you so fast. Okay, yeah, I have to go back though, because there is no uh there is no item box down there, I don't think. Oh man, dude. Is there really no item box, man? That is so frustrating. So I got it mixed up with Remake here. Um, in Remake, there's actually an item box down there, and that's something they added. Um, in this game, obviously, there is no item box down there, so that, is, that sucks. Jill's shadow is, like, glitching out right there. That's weird. This is the part of the game I'm a little bit more unfamiliar with, um, so forgive me for making that mistake. Um, let's see, I'm gonna reload this. Um, all right, so in that case, what we're gonna do, do I have any more I have one, okay. We'll do that. We need that. We don't need that one. And I'll bring... I won't bring any healing because there's some out there. We're going to need that. I really want to bring something else just in case, man, because six of those is really low amount. I'll bring the shotgun and shotgun shells, I guess. Um, could bring the Colt Python, actually. Um, hmm. Where's the shells? God, that sucks, dude, that I can't drop some of this stuff, man. Like, that knife is going to be useless, but only for one part of the game I'm going to need to use it. Alright, so... Eh, well, that was a little hiccup right there. Another healing item right here. Hopefully, don't really have to use it, but you know how it is. Hunters are not to be messed with without any sort of healing item, unless you just want to die. <clears throat> Alright, so we should be good now. Hopefully. All right, take two. Let's go this way. We have to go this way. There, yeah, usually in Remake, there's actually a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? There's a item box right there. It's not there in this game. 
Definitely not there in this game. Now we can go through here. You're about to see some really uh, funky stuff here. this healing item just to be able to pick up items. Mm. Wait for him to jump and then shoot. Um, eh, we really... Eh, I'm not going to be able to pick it up. You know what? For right now, I'm going to leave it there. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'll pick it up. Because if I need to, I'll just shoot all the ammo out of my grenade grenade gun and just load in the flame rounds now this part actually we're gonna need the knife equipped and you know I did not bring a damn blue herb uh, that is really stupid um, so this is black tiger uh, okay Oh my god, this stupid game! Whoop, go through. Alright, he did it for us. We are poisoned, so if there's no blue herb here, we are dead. I think there's one in here, actually. Yes, so oh, thank freaking Jesus there's one in here. I don't know why I didn't bring this. Can't. Dude, I have no space in my inventory. Get this trash out of my inventory. All right. Yeah, because that poison is uh, going to slowly drain our health if we don't heal it. So, there we go. We're good. We're good. Don't worry, man. So, there is an item box down here. What the? Yo, okay. Well, I made. I'm so sorry for wasting some time, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I did not know. I had no idea. I just honestly forgot. But. We're going to definitely pick up that first aid spray. Just in case I have to use it. You never know. Yeah, so that was like an issue right there. Usually I just ignore the black tiger boss and I just like blast through the door. Um, but obviously that didn't exactly work because the auto aim, the auto aim kind of screwed me right there. Um, oh man, these camera angles are kind of funky. What's over here? What does that go to? Dude, now I'm curious. Where does this go? Oh, you know, I know where this goes. Oh, uh, yeah, I just wasted some more time, my bad. Dude, I have played so much Remake. It is insane. I have played so much Remake. I have, It's pr completely screwed me on the original Resident Evil. Yeah, because in Remake, it's... Oh, it's way different. Way different. Way, 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 way different down here. So, don't go forward yet. We we need to use this. Now, it is possible to actually outrun this boulder, I think, even if you don't do this, but it is pretty, pretty, pretty tight. Um, let's use it again here. I'm not really sure how this, how she's able to crank this man, or how this even works. This is another 
This is another one of those engineering marvels, I think. So yeah, there's the door. That's where we want to be. But there's some very important stuff over there. Oh, I almost just died to that boulder. Oh my god, it was because I was not like... I, Jill was like out here like this when that cutscene happened and I had to pivot like that. Oh man, that was... Oh, that would have been me having to reset this entire playthrough. So I'm not saving the game. But yeah, we need we need this MO disc. That is the reason we do that. <clears throat> and in here we got a uh, puzzle. Another push puzzle. Great puzzles. Very stimulating puzzles. I think it's right there. I can't even remember where it's at. Again, this is like one of those really funky hitboxes. I know, yeah, it was right there. So you want to use it once, and then use it again to retract the wall. You just need you need you need the really really rudimentary like, dude. I don't even know like. So the Resident Evil characters just cannot pull anything. They they must push everything. That is just the law of the land in this game. So we got Doom Book 2. We're going to go and check that. And inside we have actually two medals. We have the Eagle Medal and the uh, Wolf Medal. There you go. All right. Yep, that MO disc is very missable, by the way. There's three in the game, so just remember that. Um, very missable MO disc. Kind of curious. To, uh, nah, I ain't gonna go back. I'm about to use these two medals, and then I'm, I'm gonna be out of. Um, I'm gonna have some space. You know, what's kind of funny is that in in the original game, you don't really have to. You don't have to go back through the Black Tiger room. Uh, but in Remake, you do. So when you inevitably run past Black Tiger and just go through the door, um, you're going to have to go back through there to, to be able to go to your different areas. Man, dude, every time, dude, the auto-aim screws me on that boss. It's bad. I'm trying to hit the door, and, like, I can't because he's just attacking me. And he's right in front of me, so Jill auto-aims onto the enemy, which makes sense, but, like, you know, it's kind of just, like, really annoying. That's for sure. It's very annoying. Um, okay, so... We are now down in the last area of the game. That is, door is locked. Emergency exit will not open unless under first class emergency. So we must remember that when we come down through here. All right, so open up the item box here. Um, There's a lot of zombies and stuff down here. Trying to decide what to do. Putting away the crank for sure. Um, we really need to u keep the MO discs with us so that we can use them. For now, we're just going to go with that. Cause there's, uh, there's another item box later in the area, so I'm not too worried. Go ahead and kill these zombies right here. Oops. I'm going to heal, I guess. So I'll be at full health. Alright. Can't go in that door. Now, this is important because this is the last MO disc right here. 
I wonder what it happens when you check it. I've never done that. It seems to be a startup disc. That's it. It's just like crazy, dude. You're like picking these discs up at all these places. You're like, what in the world are these things? You know? So, in here, we have a puzzle. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to do this puzzle because I actually know the combination to it already. But, um, I don't know why I picked that green herb up, but whatever. Uh, you have this on the wall, which gives you, like, um, like some symbols. And right here, we can read this. I'll go ahead and read it. Researcher's letter. Dear Ada. Ada, by the time you read this, it'll be some, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about come, becoming one of them. Ada. You're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape and make all this public through media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need access with all with our names first and then another password i've written the code below i'm sure you'll understand it easily and this is my last hope if you find me completely changed please kill me yourself password blah 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 yours john so that's the password right there we have to actually convert that through doing this john ada uh yeah ada's you know ada wong from the second game john is the researcher here i guess they were both here she's like a she works for like a news reporter or something like that. You can see it says tree, apple, man, woman. It's actually funny because it doesn't actually show it right there. It's still the letters, but yeah, that's how you solve it. I already know the answer, so we're just going to move on. Uh, down here, there's really nothing in there but zombies in there. That is where Chris is being held. And we need to get the three pass codes that we are going to get from the MO discs. Now. We're gonna go in here. I do believe we're not. Uh, should I pick this up? Oh man, I have no room. Uh, I'll pick it up. I'll just show it off since it's the video. There's Magnum ammo in here, dude. Is that only in the uh, remake? I think it is in the remake. Um. Anyway, here's the computer. got the really 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 awesome 90s keyboard and Jill's hands that's sick cool with that kind of like sausage fingers but she kind of actually has looks like her hands are through like some piping or something so as we heard from that uh, from that log it's actually gonna be John and Ada is the password so we're gonna go ahead and put that in Password is Ada. All right, so B2. And we actually need a password for that one, which the answer to that is mole. M-O-L-E. Pretty funny, actually, that uh, he would even, like, have, like, a decode for the password to B2. And just give his login credentials for the other part. I don't know. Whatever. It's probably because just B2 has some important stuff on it. And we got that. Yeah, you know, just looking the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Mission accomplished. Umbrella branded everything. Does that say Intel inside over there? That does not say Intel inside, by the way. That says something inside, but that is not Intel, obviously, or they would have been sued. But, but Intel have really sued them. I mean, come on, dude. I don't think they care. Not to mention they would have been so blurry that they wouldn't have been able to see it anyway. All right, so we're going to go this way. we got a zombie right here. Now, these zombies actually will respawn, so there's really no reason to kill them, but it's not that room. It must be this one. Nope, it's not this one. I lied. We're going 
go back up here. And we're going to go in here. So, in here, what is this? Intercom, okay. Got the board, what does it say on the board? Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Uh, I guess I can show this off real quick. So, we can use the slides here. Umbrella Incorporated Bioweapon Materials. This is before PowerPoint, man. We're using slides. Um, MA39 Cerberus. So, Cerberus is the name of the dog. The Cerberus is a BOW created by administering the T-Virus to a Doberman, a large breed of dog suitable for military use. FI3 Neptune, so the shark that uh, was easily taken care of. The Neptune is a BOW based on the ferocious great white shark. It was developed as part of an experiment to determine which the compatibility of the T-Virus with marine life. MA-121, the Hunter, a combat BOW with a scale-like skin and long claws. Created by exploiting the T-Virus to cross reptilian and other DNA with a fertilized human ovum. Those things are freaking crazy cool. T-002, Tyrant. The T002 was an evolved human being who had received surgical altercations after his initial infection. Battle skill, chop off, stab claw. He weighs 540 pounds. He's 8.7 feet tall. Technical specs chart, just a bunch of random lines that have no sort of like key on them. That's cool. Can I actually read? Kind of actually read the the stuff next to the uh, the tyrant itself, but I'd have to get so close to the screen I can't even really read it off. It's not found to be a weak spot, you know. Pretty cool. In terms of natural mutations, his left hand developed uh, into a powerful claw with the production of bony deposits. His muscles advance beyond normal human limits, and he's capable of running at speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. Jesus. In terms of intelligence, the T002 went through limited brain damage during the mutation process and drastic difference to zombies. So it actually has some sort of intelligence. And there's nothing. And oh my goodness, dude, you can actually see them really clear in this version. It's not blurry whatsoever who that is on the right. Um, Bioweapon Research Institute R&D staff, so research and development. Um, it's really funny. You can actually, I've never seen these pictures like this clear before. It's really funny, honestly. It's photoshopped. <clears throat> so we got a panel here. And we got a switch, and that moves that, and we get a key. Key, I believe. Okay. Um. Huh. I actually know what room that actually unlocked, but is there even anything in there important? I mean, dude. I mean, look, I'll show it off since, again, this is a playthrough. I'll show off what's in here. This is the door that it unlocked. Could be wrong, man. There could be something interesting in here. I just know that there's a ton of zombies. Oh, bad. You know, I saw her do that, that gesture with the gun, and I was like, man, I wonder if it's empty. Uh, yep, it was, and I got very lucky he didn't kill me. To General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Res Research Department. This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Regarding the T-Virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey according to the survey results. Estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T-Virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar as the, to the T-Virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. 
which probably means killing people, but finally many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. <clears throat> By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately, which it was because it was in the newspaper. It wasn't really said that it was Umbrella that was doing it, but it was starting to catch on. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to maintain, to attain. Uh, however, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We're especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act on this situation as well. So obviously they did want the stars here because they were going to be tests against their BOWs. And the researchers were kind of just test subjects as well. Oh wow, that's actually really, really clear. Uh, I didn't even... It looks kind of weird actually on the wall. But yeah, actually we did have to come in here because this is where the one of the passcodes is. So you just use the MO disk on it. Alright, so next we are going to leave this area. Run past him. As you see, like they just respawn. Which is why I have the shotgun on me. Um okay, it's the store. And we chuck that away. Is it okay? It's this room. And there's some shotgun shells there. I don't need this. Why am I picking this up? Why am I picking up the shotgun shells? Okay, this 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 puzzle is annoying. And it's a new camera angle because I'm using director's cut. Um, big oof here. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna move that over. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna move this up. I may mess this up a couple times. Please bear with me if I do. Goodness, Jill, push it. That goes over. Um, I think this can go over here. Just move it out of the way. Don't move it too close, or you'll just get it stuck in the corner. Um. Uh, no, that's not going to work because this thing's going to be stuck. I don't think you can either. You cannot, cannot push it over here either. I think I messed it up. This box right here has to go on the right. I'm pretty sure. Unless, actually, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. Move this over. Move it too far. This is probably the boss fight of all the push puzzles in the game. I really hate this one. Um. No, don't push that way. Should be still good, right? I'm, I'm, my brain is going at a 90 miles an hour right now. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Uh, God, I hate this puzzle. I hate it. Um, no, I believe that... Okay. I believe that the right, the right box has to go on the left. There's literally no way you can do it without doing that. So... In order to do that, and this camera angle makes this so much harder. I hate this camera angle. The original was so much better. Um, not really sure actually if it'd be possible. Okay, well that's still there. How in the world are you? 
you supposed to do this, man? Like this? It has to be it right that. Yeah, you can probably tell I absolutely hate these puzzles in this game, man. I really, really hate these types of puzzles in this game. You just never know how much clearance you have until you start pushing this stuff. You know, I, I may have been able to do it the way I had it before. It's probably possible to do it that way, but... Whatever. This works, too. had a had a good day you know just pushing boxes here um i'm i'm honestly starving right now oh look at that dude the uh camera angle i can't i can't even read that that's really interesting pretty funny all right so we're gonna go ahead and grab the magnum rounds here don't leave yet there is an mo disc thing over here Alright, so, and this should go out that one door that was locked before, yep. And we go back over here. And we're gonna kill this guy, because he's in the way. And there should be a save room. Come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? Dead? All right. Okay. Now, this is what I prefer to do with this section. So, we just put up the shotgun because we really don't need this anymore. And we're going to take out all this stuff. We're going to take out all the magnum ammo. I think 18 is all you can get in this game. You get 18 bullets. That is it. Unless they give you an extra 8 in the easy version. Oh, no. They give you an extra 6. I think 18 is all you get maybe in the remake. I don't know. 24 is how much you get in this game. All right. So, this is, this is the loadout for now. Um... We're going to try to kill these things using... I'm not going to pick this up, actually. It does stack. Screw it. I'll just pick it up. Um, we're going to try to kill these things with the grenade gun, so I don't have to use the magnum ammo here, but... That's going to be fun. Oh, wow, he's dead. Let's go. Yeah, so these are, uh, like, hunter... Hunter creatures. I don't know what they're exactly called. Um, they have like worms coming out of them and stuff. So. I don't know exactly, but. Alright, so we activated that. But yeah, they have like worms and stuff coming out of them. I forgot the actual name of them. They're basically just hunters, though. They're only in this area of the game. Um, is it in the next area we have to go to? Yeah, it's probably the next area. All right. These things don't really die very fast to flame rounds, it seems probably not a good thing but this is the last area where we use the mo disc i haven't actually been reading these but you can pause them if you want to read them they're just like bible verses i'm not exactly sure what that's about but whatever what okay 
it was hitting him, but for some reason it was like glitched and like not showing the animation for it. Like, that was weird. All right, so we're about to turn on the elevator power. This thing is really loud. All right. And that's why you need to make sure that you activate the power to those areas or that will not work. Now, normally I just use the Magnum on these things, but, um, you know, whatever. I'm trying something different. Obviously, flame rounds are not very good against them, so I wouldn't really use that, but... Um, so yeah, now, now we can actually go up into the elevator. I think there's going to be a cutscene. No, there may not be a cutscene. Jill. Oh, there's a cutscene. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, I lost my way. Let's get going. A very, very quiet elevator ride. No talking, just riding. Actually, I think I'm gonna let that one play next time because it's kind of special. It looks cool. You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh. Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How's your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon called tyrant or something I, I think do you think we could see tyrant now Barry you're so optimistic what it would mean? look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose maybe you're right let's go then Barry actually sounds like he's asking his mother for some, some candy, dude. Like, can we see Tyrant now, please?
by the way, this is like god tier music in this uh, in this area of the game. Absolutely my favorite track in the whole game. Can this one right here. Like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. God, he looks so cool, man. Damn you. Especially the big heart, dude. Oh, no, Barry! shots to down it. And he's done. Barry? Check on Barry, Barry here. There he is. Yeah, he's a trooper. Uh, uh, I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. I gotta say, man, isn't, isn't Jill super weak? How did you let Jill take a hit from that and then you took one hit and went like sprawling? And, and we let's talk about this. They give you Beretta ammo in the fucking final boss room. Yeah, that's very much gonna help me. What happened to Wesker? Oh, he's fulfilling his uh fulfilling his duties for Umbrella. As you know from that note, not much time left for us. so from that note we saw earlier about how they were going to train stars against the BOWs and all that stuff, it was actually for Wesker. Wesker is actually the one that's supposed to do this. And then now he's, you know, wiping the area clean of any evidence. But there we go. I'll let that one play. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab like every healing item I have because there's really no reason not to. So I don't want to use the first aid spray unless I have to. You need one um, space open, so make sure you do keep one space open. Choose the grenade launcher for the zombies here, or actually it's these hunter things. But, you know, they're pretty stupid, so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. Just run past him. This was taken right from... Wasn't it that Romero? It was taken from Romero's movie, dude. I swear that one of the Romero movies had one of these self-destruction sequences. Did it? Honestly, I can't remember now. I know I watched a movie that had one of these in it, and I was like, man, that's probably where Resident Evil got it. Oh no! It was a. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't one of Romero's movies. It was Alien. You know, in Alien, they have uh, self the self destruct sequences. It's just like this. 
I'm almost positive that they got it from Alien. But really, I mean... Ooh, I just forgot something. Uh, that's my bad. Um, we're not saving Chris. Um, I completely forgot to go and get him. And I didn't save, so, uh, he's, he's, he's just gonna be dead. Alright, well, it is what it is. Oh, well. When we do Chris's, uh, campaign, I'll, I'll try to save everyone. Um, it's not really hard, like I said, I just forgot. It's kind of boring getting the, the good ending every time anyway. Oh, actually, I don't think you actually fight Tyrant here, do you? I think if you don't get the good ending, you actually don't fight Tyrant for the second time. Oh, no, no, here he comes. He's going to be right here. Is he? Yeah, no, here he comes. So you'll at least see this boss fight. There is a way to um, to dodge him correctly and everything, but obviously uh, it's a lot harder said than done. Okay, I'm getting stuck in the corner. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. I I, I wanted to save all of them, but I, I, don't know, I messed up. deflex that, doesn't he, the first time? If you get the good ending, and then shoot him again and he dies. I don't know, I could be getting it mixed up with the remake. But, um, yeah, I didn't get the good ending. Um, sorry, I know I said I was going to, and I was going to, I just messed up and completely forgot about Chris. Um, so, you know, for Chris's campaign, I'll save everyone. Um, for this one, I guess you'll see the berry ending, which is very similar to the good ending, except Chris is just not there. Um, but yeah, you would, you would just go to that doorway I showed you at the very end and input all three of those codes we picked up and Chris is down there and that's it. So I just messed up and I didn't go and get him. I completely forgot. always wait up for me, even uh, today, uh, eldest daughter. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. I know he must still be alive. Oh, no, he's dead. Uh, he, he, he definitely died. But what's cool is, actually, I'm going to just go ahead and say this. I almost never get this ending, ever, ever. So I never actually really ever see that ending for, um, for Jill. Um, so, yeah, I didn't save everyone, but to be fair, I mean, like that, that, that cutscene, I almost never see that one, so that one's really cool to see. Um, so it kind of worked out in the end, I guess. It's interesting. When, when does Barry walk up there with you? I think, honestly, I think it's if you go up there, like, first thing, if you go up there, maybe. I don't know. I thought what was funny is that they actually didn't show the snake in the uh, slide for all the BOWs and stuff. But yeah, that was Resident Evil. Um, I mean, I feel like everybody and their mother has played this game at this point, but you know, if you haven't, um, or at least maybe just the seamless HD version of the game. Um, you know, I really liked it. You can actually kind of see what the original graphics looked like in the bottom left. Um, so... You can see that it's it's a pretty big difference. They're really pixelated. Now, obviously, those graphics are really cool if you're playing it on an original CRT and everything, but on, like, modern systems, it's pretty nice to have 
Uh, the nice graphics and everything. Look at Barry, he's just assassinating someone. But yeah, sorry about not getting the uh, the good ending. I technically could have. I just uh, completely forgot to get Chris. Um, yeah, there he is, right there. It's like the game telling you, "Hey, man, he's 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 alive. You just messed up." Um, but I actually haven't seen the Barry ending in a while, so that's that's a, that's a nice one to watch. Um, so. Looks so stilted and bad, but I mean, it, it does look pretty, pretty interesting. It's like not nearly, nearly as pixelated. And I just went over the two hour mark. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Oh well. I don't know what that was about, but go ahead and save over that one, I guess. And that's it. So. Uh, let me go into load game here so it doesn't keep playing the demo. Um, so that's that's Resident Evil Seamless HD Edition um, on the PC. I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Again, uh, the last time I'm going to apologize for it. I'm sorry I didn't save Chris. I'm sure everyone's seen, if they've watched a playthrough of this game at this point, they've seen the Chris ending. So it's kind of interesting to see what the the Barry ending looks like. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to get the Rebecca ending for Chris's playthrough because, well, well, I showed you where the MO discs are for a walkthrough perspective if you were wondering how to get them or whatever. So you could save them if you want. Um, I kind of want to show off the endings that you're not probably going to get maybe as often. I, mean, I feel like everyone that plays through this game uh, nowadays we'll probably get the good ending because they know where everything is and they do this and that. And that's how I always did it. You know, I always played through and got the good ending every time. So I've seen that one a million times. So it's, it kind of works out that I guess I forgot about Chris and then I got to see that ending. I hadn't seen that one in forever. I don't actually think I've ever seen it. Um, so I think with Chris's ending, I'm going to save Rebecca but we're actually going to leave Jill cuz the thing is is if you save if you save Chris or Jill they kind of just shows like a picture of them all together on the plane or the the helicopter and that's pretty much it whereas like in the Barry ending we just got right there he ac she actually talked to Barry about his kids and stuff which is pretty interesting I hadn't, I hadn't seen that one in forever or I've just never seen it honestly um but yeah I I will be doing Chris's campaign. His is a lot more difficult. Um, you know, he, I didn't really explain it, but I'll, I'll explain it in Chris's, uh, Chris's campaign, exactly what the differences are, but just know that Chris's is definitely harder. And I normally, when I replay this game, I do not play Chris. I usually play Jill. So I'm probably going to have to do a test playthrough of Chris before I play that one. But, um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, like and subscribe if you felt that it was worth your time. Um, and I really hope to see you in the next uh, the next uh, part of this where we do Chris's campaign. But other than that, that's all I've got. Um, hope you guys have a great day and uh, enjoy the rest of rest of your day. I guess. Um, yeah. See you guys later.